I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. We guys are doing fantastic today. Got a really fun video for you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. But uh, as always, before we begin, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the support. 2000 subs doing a free premium DD giveaway. If you didn't catch a glimpse of it right there, that's the title of the video. Is this toxic or welcome to toxicity? And uh, you, so you saw it, ladies and gentlemen, three coal bears in a division playing with the brawls mode lately. And I've actually been enjoying brawls. Uh, it is actually kind of like clan battles with nine people but tier 10 lately and, and uh we ran into this uh, division and uh, i have to say it is brutal and i'm so glad i'm not on the opposite end of this three coal bears moving in unison in force and we are just holding down the middle of the four capping at, with the druid as always one of my favorite destroyers firing heavy ap shells uh, with uh, the basic long range kind of a modification. And of course, you see the Colbert's on the mini map there are moving in unison and sweeping in, trying to blast this Montana to Keenan come. You can just see the, yeah, that those shower of shells there. Yeah, those are Colbert shells. <laughs> and it literally is just a rainbow stream of hate, almost kind of like Ghostbuster proton packs, just constantly just laying down the hate. And man, I. I I, just, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless where uh, I'm just glad I'm not the Montana right now. But anyways, this is actually a fun engagement right here. We have an incomparable. Now, normally I would not go head to head with this. But you know what? I was like, yeah, whatever. This is brawls. Let's have fun. There's a Colbert division right on the, his uh, left flank. He's about to meet a world of hurt. So why not take this fight to him? Notice that we're shooting the uh, 127 millimeter heavy AP guns right into his nose right there to take as much damage as possible. And we're taking 3,000. Look at that right there into his broadside. So we're just getting some nice juicy pins right there. And they're actually doing full pins, just enough arming time for me to maximize the amount of hit points he has. Now he has his improved heal, which is every shot I take, he kind of heals back right away. So I'm going to have to sit here and try to take on this for the long run. But man, I am in full reverse right now. And uh, you watch, ladies and gentlemen, as this is something that was unexpected. I did not think, I thought I was dead here. I was like, okay, well, let's see how long I can last. Nose in, going toe to toe with an incomparable. Let's shoot the superstructure now to get the maximum penetrations or maximum hit points that I can get. You know, 780, 1000 will take it. If it's every second, it's still withering down. He's not using his heals. And guess what? Somebody just pops right in front of my screen out of nowhere from the right here minotaur coming in for the save the day and wow what a heroic finish and i always just left speech as i was staring at the screen and just trying to figure out what on earth just happened right there and uh that was one of the funniest things i've seen in, in the game in a long time uh not to mention right in front of me right there is yep you can see it coming around the corner three colbert div coming at, at you and uh, look at how cool it looks them moving in unison together it just looks so funny but man literally like i don't know how many guns it is right there. there's almost like 20 something plus guns just moving around in unison and look at that this stream I, I just had to look at this and stare at it for a while the fireworks show that was just on display I don't know. This is just toxic city right here. Uh, yeah, there's so many people complaining about this. <laughs> and this is just not not enjoying at all. Are we having fun yet? Or is this fun and engaging? So anyways, we're going to move up uh, flank and be a good destroyer and lay down some support, hunt their DD down, as well as provide smoke cover for the Colbert's, as an always good DD player should do. Now, we're also, we have the Kitakami, which is a very devastating... Um, ship that launches a lot of uh i think it came out for that one event where it launches just a lot of torpedoes and you know what we don't want this guy anywhere near us so we're going to shoot as many ap shells as we can and do we actually get a citadel here come on boom we do oh my goodness we do get a citadel from that range pretty awesome i mean i love the druid druid it's just so much fun for me it's just taking the fight i know a lot of criticism about it man that uh is it enjoyable is it fun is it pr appropriate but man the druid is just fun it, that, that, this game is supposed to be enjoyable and fun right so i like it just being that dd gunboat just laying down some hate hunting other dds and just putting down a lot of shells down range we are spotted right now not really sure what's in front of me oh it is the destroyer and just look at this, what's going to happen to this guy right here Never ever open fire with three Colbert's sitting right next to you, and he learned the hard way that uh, that is a lot of firepower and not enough to uh, withstand that. Oh my gosh, he is probably cursing right there. 
way too talk. <laughs> Look at the chat there, uh, the uh, cancer, uh, the hate right there already. But uh, anyways, that that is us eliminating and helping eliminate Destroyer and this flank as well. And uh, now we're just going to speed it up and, and just see some more devastation on these battleships. I elected not to shoot, and uh, <laughs> people are so complaining. I've noticed a lot of people don't like this brawls uh, in the sense of maybe it's just the way that people are divvying up, and some people are at a disadvantage that are not on comms, they're not discussing, and it's just funny to see all these reactions. So, so many people are playing weird things, which is, you know, triple uh, something, triple small ends, triple Colbert's, triple torpedo boat. I mean, it's just so funny to see. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. But <laughs> just so much firepower going on range. And this is what makes it enjoyable. Just some of these little wacky things that you normally wouldn't do in competitive or anything. And this is just pure unadulterated fun just having a great time blasting things sinking ships sailing ships and uh learning something from it right so we like not to shoot here we just let the uh colbert do its work shooting from smoke and we're just uh, spotting for the rest of the team as a good destroyer player as always does right there and that's pretty much uh that win right there uh pretty much easy in the bag with the last three colbert's and me uh uh or actually a few colbert's and me surviving and uh yep that's the game right there shooting on the vermont uh, but we got another game, and uh, guess what? We were just playing random uh, brawl games, and we kept getting matched up with this div uh, that was the Colbert div. Uh, I think their clan was D Sky or something like that. But uh, thanks for shout out to them. Thanks for letting me play alongside them and enjoying the fireworks show as always. This one map is Map Estuary. Again, in the Druid, and uh, guess what? To my right, yep, the three Colbert division brawl. Uh, group there they are again it looks gorgeous this sailing <laughs> how what a what a scary sight to see three cold bears and a druid just moving together in unison um speeding up right here we're gonna go straight into their truck char charlie cat because guess what i am not afraid for some reason when i'm sailing the three cold bears i feel invincible for some reason i don't know you tell me uh but we're gonna go just head on and try to get the destroyer spotted right away and again this destroyer just makes the mistake of opening up right in front of the uh the uh, lion's den of colbert's and here comes the hand of god here and uh he is regretting his mistake for getting spotted and shooting now he's spotted with no smoke and guess what he's taking full <laughs> shots from the ap of the druid as well as ap from the colbert as well as he from more colbert's and it's just shells from left to right left to right it looks like literally a rain of artillery shells and then he's also getting pummeled by a druid oh my gosh not so fun at all and mistake number two is firing on a druid going into smoke and then all of a sudden having three colberts returning the fire and um not enjoyable look at this full health montana here and we're just gonna go ahead and launch as much as we can so you know what we're gonna take advantage of the smoke put as much ap into his side as possible take as much damage as we can He's taking 15, 60 pins right there and just full on onslaught. And let's see if we can get some Colbert action firing on him. I think they're holding. Nope, there they are. Here come the shells right there. Firing in from the east. And literally, I, he's kind of confused. That Do I shoot at the blind fire druid in the smoke or do I shoot back at the Colbert behind islands? So tough call on this one, guys. I mean, uh, yeah, at this point, it's literally just full speed drive away. And I don't care if we're spotter here at this point. Let him fire. Uh, we're just going to see if we can knock out as much damage. It went from 90,000 right down to 50. He takes a, that blind fire shot. or no, well, Actually, not a blind fire. He sees me. He's taking that shot, hopefully praying for rain. Ooh, and he gets the front of us. We move an Uber just outside and just in case to juke the throttle and juke the uh, rudder a little bit just to throw off his shells. Notice that the rest of our team is just holding at Alpha because they know that Colbert's are going to come in and mop up later. So they're kind of just holding at Alpha Point right now, just waiting for the devastation to subside at Charlie Cap. And ooh, we lose one Colbert to a Jadon Torpedo. So don't worry, we still got two more with more firing from the left. We got Schlieffen secondaries firing from the left, Colbert is firing from the right, Druid firing from the center. And you can just see from this screenshot right here, this is not a good day. Not fun and engaging at all. Uh, but you know what? It's fun for us. Uh, fun for the ones dealing out the Duke of Shells. And we are just going to continue to push forward here and see if we can eliminate the Montana. It's, and again, I think that's why the game... Uh, I'll do another video about why the game... I think somebody released a video about uh, why are there so many blowout matches. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. I mean, I'll, I'll play a couple more uh, uh, random games and see why. And I can answer that question pretty easily. Um, from that video, we'll save that topic for another day. But right now, it uh, is just uh, me pure 
onslaught adulterated shooting of shells and this is the soothing part of it just shooting a lot of shells and just seeing those numbers tick up like i've always said something very very calming about it i don't know what it is that's probably why people keep coming back to world of warships and just like call of duty where you're, when you have that tick that hit marker or you see points go up as you're hitting something it's just something about it maybe it is just some kind of soothing calmness to it so uh, Druid and Colbert moving together right up the flank right here, and we're going to take on the Yamato. Poor Yamato, slow firing guns, big caliber guns, far away, not very accurate uh, at this distance on these types of ships right now, and uh, too many shells being fired at a very confusing time. So, poor guy right there. But, you know what? We'll just take advantage of this. We'll just take a shot and see how, how many. Uh, how many hits can we get and just bury these shells right in the superstructure and as always hope you guys enjoy the videos at 2000 subs we're doing a free premium dd giveaway as we enjoy the onslaught of this but uh we're almost there actually a few more subs and uh we are, i already have the event ready to go and um the highest i could do i wish i could give out tier 10 premium dds but right now all i can uh, provide with the funds that i get from this channel is really just uh you know a tier 9 and below so we'll see it'll be a surprise for you guys see what we get uh, for who the lucky winner of the person who uh, uh, seems to be part of that drawing. So, and you guys got to be subbed to the channel. And as always, make a, I'll post what the instructions will be. It'll be easy. Just post your name and uh, what server you play on in the game, so we can. Whoever I draw will be the lucky recipient of the gift. And it's just my appreciation to thank you guys for making a great community, making this channel great, and just having fun doing it. So let's take our last shots here at the Janan, and he is angled, but those shells are still hitting him pretty nice. I like about that's what I like about the Druid is the the kind of angles and the plunging fire that it's able uh, capable of doing uh, it's got those improved ap angles which just really help out a lot and they're still doing somewhat damage and boom we get that second kill splash two and that is pretty much wrapping up the game right there another game with the toxic div of colbert but hope you guys enjoy the video like subscribe button below appreciate all the support as always, make sure you say hi when you see me out there and can't thank you guys enough for building the community and making this place great. So as always, stay safe and we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.